Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 436. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, the topic is what rich people talk about with their advisors. And I thought this would be a good topic for us because... A lot of times I think people feel like, well, you know, what what some people do isn't right for me to do, or they don't really have a sense of what people with a lot of money are doing. I think if you're going to build wealth, then you want to do what the wealthy are doing. That's the whole point of me being your mentor is to show you what rich people are doing, what they think about, what actions they take, how their mindset works, how they're investing. These are all the topics that we talk about. And everything that I do is really with a focus of trying to get you to be a millionaire, whether you already are then to your next million, or if you're not a millionaire yet, then to your first million. It's really about creating some good habits and some good actions that are gonna take you further in the right direction. So today I'm gonna share with you a little chart that came from Investors Business Daily. And the chart is called High Net Worth Clients Who Discuss These Topics with Advisor. And it's got seven different topics. And it tells you what are the things that high net worth people talk about with their advisor. Usually high net worth is a million dollars of assets excluding your home residence. So that's how I would define it, although I didn't read any definition that they had specifically on this particular chart today. But I want you to think about, what would you imagine the number one thing is that high net worth people are talking about with an advisor? Now it doesn't have to be their investment advisor. So think about, you know, your team of advisors that we've talked about having and what do you think is on their mind in terms of financial issues? Well, it may or may not surprise you, but the number one thing on their mind, at least according to this study, is 60% are talking about tax planning with their advisor. And that makes total sense to me. First of all, we just had a major tax overhaul. Last year, the tax law changed dramatically. And so lots of people are wondering, what are my taxes going to be? Can I change my withholding? What are we gonna do with those excess funds that we saved? Are we gonna pay it out to employees if you're self-employed? You know, what, what are you planning to do with those things? So tax planning. I think that is an important topic, not only because of the new tax law last year, but also because it's something that if you can get a handle on being savvy with paying less income tax, that is a completely legal and ethical thing to do. You're only obligated to pay the part of tax that the government requires you to pay. You're not required to pay a penny more. And so, finding those deductions, finding the things that you can use to reduce your taxes is a very smart strategy and is worth spending some money or investing some money, I should say, into an expert that can help you reduce your taxes. So if you have someone help you do your taxes, they might be able to find some deductions for you that you weren't aware of or, you know, other things that you might be missing out on that can actually save you money. So that makes total sense to me that tax planning would be the first and most talked about topic with an advisor. The second most talked about strategy that high net worth clients talk to with their advisor is about their investment strategy. Again, pretty simple to understand. 
You also want your money to grow. I talk about the six steps to wealth and of course, investing in a money engine, compounding at a high rate. Those are the key backbones of wealth building. And so talking with your financial advisor about investment strategies makes total sense because you're gonna want to find out how can you maximize your dollars? How can you make them grow more? Where are the wealth building opportunities right now? So discussing that with an advisor is a very smart thing to do. The third thing that they talk about is estate planning. So this would be if something happened to you how would your family be taken care of? How would that money pass on to your family? Do you need to purchase life insurance to provide some additional benefit to pay off debt that you might have? Do you, for example, do you buy life insurance that could help pay off a mortgage that you have, that could help pay off any car loans or student loans that you have, plus provide a partial income or do you have children and you want to provide some college funds for your children that you haven't had a chance to accumulate yet? But also saving on the tax side of the equation where once your estate grows large enough, you have to be concerned about estate taxes. And this was addressed in the last tax law as well, so that's all changed now. But there's a lot of discussion about is your estate set up properly? Uh, have you done the right things to minimize? any taxes that might be due? Are you passing this on to your family? Have you created a will? Is the will drafted correctly? Uh, there's all kinds of questions that go into estate planning. So that is a very important topic. And the more assets that you have, the more important it is for you to talk about it. Number four is retirement spending. So about 47% are talking with their advisors about Retirement spending. Now it's interesting they said retirement spending. They didn't say retirement planning. So retirement spending, meaning how much income are you going to have in retirement? Something that people always wonder, how much can you spend? When can you retire? Can you retire early? If so, what will your income be? Those are all questions that you can constantly revisit with your financial advisor and make sure that you are on track for your goals and that everything is moving along toward your ability to retire when you wanna retire. The next topic is investing amid rising interest rates. And that is about 35% of people with high net worths are talking with their advisors about that. And again, interest rates are going up. How does that impact your investing? It certainly impacts the bond side of your investing because as I've mentioned before, as interest rates rise, the value of bonds declines they work opposite each other. So for many years, we were in a cycle of lower interest rates. And as we had that 30 year cycle where interest rates were gradually moving lower, we had the value of bonds moving up. Now we're in the opposite direction. We have interest rates moving up and we have the value of bonds moving down. So planning for rising interest rates, also if you are in an adjustable rate mortgage, you wanna think about a fixed rate mortgage. If you have any debt that is adjustable, you want to figure out how to lock in a low interest rate. If you have a lot of real estate, you wanna make some plans for what are you doing with your different properties and how are interest rates affecting those different properties. So these are important planning points as well. The sixth point that high net worth clients are talking with their financial advisors about is healthcare planning. About 32% are talking about healthcare. That could mean healthcare regarding your parents. It could be healthcare regarding yourself, your family. It could mean people are elderly and looking at healthcare costs. It could mean you have special needs children. There's all kinds of reasons for healthcare planning. It could be talking about setting up an HSA account and using that smartly for your health expenses. So healthcare planning is also a topic that they talk with their financial advisor about. And finally, the last category is called ESG investments. And about 27% 
of high net worth people are talking with their advisor about ESG investments. Now, you might not have ever heard of ESG. It stands for Environmental, Social, and Corporate Governance. It's really socially responsible investing is what we used to call it. So being an investor in companies that are doing the right thing for the environment, doing the right thing socially, doing the right thing from a corporate governance point of view, just being a good corporate citizen and taking into account positive things that a company might bring to the planet. This is gaining in popularity. More people are looking at this. And as long as they can get the good returns, people are getting more interested in putting their money behind companies that are doing the right thing. So those are the seven things that high net worth clients are talking with their advisor about. Again, it's tax planning, investment strategies, estate planning, retirement spending, investing amid rising rates, healthcare planning, and ESG investments. So that might give you some ideas of things you can talk to a financial advisor about or your tax professional about. And make sure that you've covered these areas in your life because they are things that you need to be thinking about, making some decisions on, making sure that you get some good advice and that you've taken care of everything that you need to for you and your family to prosper. Whether or not you have a lot of money right now doesn't matter. You want to start thinking in the way that wealthy people think. You want to start taking action in the way that wealthy people do. So these are some things that I want you to think about. I want you to maybe determine where you might have weakness, where you might need to read up on something. Maybe you need to Google some topics or watch some videos on YouTube. I'm always a big YouTube fan for finding uh, different topics. Those are things that you can do to get yourself up to speed and educated about things that, you know, even if you don't feel like you're ready to talk with an advisor about it yet, you might get more up to speed and feel a little bit more confident about doing that. If, however, you're knowledgeable in these areas already, then maybe it's just time for an update. Maybe it's time for you just to chat with your advisors and make sure everything's updated and that everything's taken care of. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be updated as soon as new podcasts are available. And if we haven't connected yet on Instagram, go on over and get my daily tips on Instagram. I'm giving you lots of things to think about, ideas, things to do, quotes, uh, just a whole different mix of wealth ideas than what you get here on the podcast. That's at instagram.com forward slash Linda P. Jones. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.